Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry if I sound a little funny today, I've got a little bit of a cold, but uh, hopefully it won't matter too much. Um, so all I'm going to do today, this is going to be a really, really quick video, um, because it wasn't something that was necessarily on my agenda of stuff to do, but it was so massively requested in comments and messages and things, that um, I'm just going to cover it really quickly at a very basic level, because it's so easy to implement, at least, at least at a very basic a very basic level, and that's people are asking how to accomplish a wall jump in your platform game, so you, you can like be along the wall and, and jump off of the wall. Um, and really, the the logic we're going to use, at least to get started with this at a very basic level, is just to simply say, I mean, at the moment we check to see if we're on the ground, then we can jump, right? Or it resets our number of jumps in the case we want to do double jumps and multi jumps and things. Um, so all we're going to do is give you a free jump if you're touching the wall. So just in the same way we check to see if you're touching the ground. So really, really simple logic. Again, this isn't like going to be like the most perfect way of doing this, um, and I'll explain explain why it's easier to do this to get started with this system um, and uh, what else you might want to do later but um, anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to our player step event code that we've already got going and uh, this code here what we're using to do our regular jumping stuff and see if we're on the ground um, then reset our jumps and do all of that. We're just going to give you a free jump. We're not going to take into account the number of jumps you've got available. We're just going to give you one for free if you're on the wall, and we're not going to make that take away from the number of in-air jumps or anything like that. So I'm just going to say if uh, key underscore jump and with the two M symbols there, uh, bracket place underscore meeting x plus one y obj underscore wall meaning one pixel to uh, the right or I don't know if I've actually used a symbol in code before but um, this these two lines here that represents or just in the same way this represents and just in a logical sense so we're gonna do two conditions in like a bracket like here and then like up here somewhere um, and it's gonna check between those two and if either one of them is true um, then the condition within the brackets is true so it'll be like if those are true and if one of these is true and key jump is true, that's the, the total logic there. Place underscore. The other one is obviously, as you might have guessed, we're just going to check if x minus one, y obj underscore one. Again, like I just want to point out something about my tutorials in general. This isn't necessarily the best way of writing this line, but it is probably the most straightforward to understand, and that's always what I tend to go for above all else. So, I mean, there's that line again, because it's kind of cutting it off at the end there. You can see x plus 1, x minus 1. If either one of those is true, then this condition in the brackets is true, and if that condition in the brackets is true and key jump is true, then we carry on with these things. So if we're pressing jump and we're touching a wall, that's what we've got. Uh, and then we're just going to do our jump code again. We're just going to say vsb equals minus jump speed semicolon. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Just a, a very basic level. That will work. We'll uh, press F5 now. And you can see, touching the wall, and it's, just, it's the same logic as we used to jump on the ground. You know, you're touching a wall, you press jump, you can wall jump. It's pretty cool. Now, I think a lot of you might be after trying to do something where like, you get some momentum you push away from the wall automatically as you, you wall jump or do more complex things. Um, in order to do that, you need to kind of expand the platform of movement beyond the sort of simple stuff we've got going on here. Um, what I mean by that is, at the moment, your character has absolute control of his horizontal movement. Like You press right, you're moving at that amount of speed. You press left, you are moving at that amount of speed, and it's set. It's not You don't accelerate up to that speed. You just are set to that speed. So even if we were to add something in that said, like, uh, give your horizontal speed a boost whenever you press jump against the wall, because um, like you, you might be holding left or something when you're holding into the wall, you'll just instantly start like it'll overwrite that code and you'll start moving to the left and you could write like a complex buffery system but it wouldn't probably wouldn't work out as easily as just building a different kind of mo horizontal movement into your game uh, we might look at doing that at some point in the future with the platform game look at doing sort of acceleration and friction and that kind of thing in your movement as opposed to this sort of direct um, start stop speed thing we've got going on but that's the sort of thing you would need if you wanted to do a sort of more 
uh, complicated uh, wall jump than what we have, because at the moment you have absolute air control, as I said, so um, there's no way to really like give your player a boost of speed in the horizontal uh, axis, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so that's that, just a really quick video, I guess it was a really simple way to get started doing wall jumps if you want to, very quick explanation of what you would need to do if you want to take it further, and I hope that was useful to you guys, and I will catch you guys next time.